Hello! It's Friday, the 27th of December 2018. I am Thekla Petridou, a psychologist and an author. And as every Friday, this Friday also, I upload a video in English on my YouTube channel. Uh, the subject of today's video is how to survive family holidays, like Christmas for example, when you don't have a family. There are many people around us in these days, in these festive days, that they get bombarded by uh, pop culture, by ads, by songs, by movies, by anything uh, that goes around um, with the message that in during Christmas and New Year's uh, holidays, everybody is happy with their families. We are supposed to be happy. We are ordered by society to be happy. So when you miss one basic element of the family holidays, which is family, then it becomes much more difficult for you to be able to cope with these days. Of course, this does not apply to anybody. There are people out there who have worked on themselves, who have uh, uh, taken um, the time and effort to, to build their emotional uh, intelligence and are not affected, affected by pop culture, by ads, by anything. But most of us, most of us, even if we don't realize it, realize this, we get affected. We have an image in our brain which has been created over the years I mean, for example, I'm on, on my 45th year of life, so it's been at least 44 years that I get bombarded by this image, that uh, Christmas time, New Year's time, it's a very happy time. It's a time that people are get together, they get together in a family surroundings, and they all love each other, and they are happily, and they, be, they live happily ever after the holidays and the next of the year which is something false. It's a myth. It's, it's, um, um, it's our culture's myth. It's a story our culture tells. Um, it seems that uh, since uh, the primitive years of uh, people living on Earth, some uh, festivities always were around this time of year. Um, festivities were very important for primitive people in order to help them go through their very difficult lives. There were an occasion where people would gather and celebrate, maybe have some substances. <laughs> you know, if you, go, if you go back in time and back in history and search how people celebrated Saturnalia, for example, which is an ancient festivity um, that preceded Christmas, you can see that it was um, something ritualistic, something very important for those primitive societies in order to feel united and in order to meet with other people. Nowadays, life is so much different. We live every day, most of us, we live in big cities where we meet lots of people daily. We feel a lot of uh, um, confusion I, 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 I experience it as a confusion to be around so many people and not to be really connected with them. Um, we live alone in our, in, our, in our tiny flats, most of us. Um, we get lonely in the crowd. And a lot of us do not have the fairy tale family that entails uh, the Christmas myth and the family holidays myth. Our families, most of human families, are defective families. There is no such a thing as a perfect family. There is no such a thing as a healthy, a totally 100% healthy family. And some people are cut off without family. I have an example in my mind. It's a friend of mine. It's a lady that I love very much. I love deeply. She's around my age. She was uh, the only child of the family. When she was, um, she was um, going through uh, school and high school, 
Um, she had all the attention of her mother, of her father. They were both very fixated on her. They were strongly supporting her and strongly give, giving her love and um, uh, material goods. And uh, as an only child, she received a lot of uh, positive uh, um, feedback from her parents. But when she went abroad to study, bad luck struck her family. Her mother died of, uh, of cancer. She had a brain tumor. She also had a, um, an autoimmune disease which landed, it, landed her in bed for two years after her mother's death, which I suppose it was a response of her body to the tragic loss of her mother when she was only 19 years old. And when she managed to finish her studies, um, her father passes away from uh, heart disease. So at the age of 25, 26, 27, I don't remember exactly which age, she's alone. She has no siblings, no parents. Um, both uh, of her parents come from other uh, towns. So she was living alone in a town where nobody was, uh, of immediate family was there. This friend of mine, it's a, an example for me of people without family, people without immediate family. Um, of course, it doesn't necessarily mean that your parents should die and you should not have any siblings in order to be without family because there are many families who are alienated with each other. Many family members who do not talk to each other. Many family members who torture each other. So this friend of mine, uh, she was, um, at the beginning, she was devastated and she was trying to rebuild her life uh, after losing the two pillars of her, um, so of, of her life uh, in the uh, first years and the third pillar, her mother, her father and her health. And she's a warrior and she's a fighter and she tried in many ways to find happiness to feel that she belongs somewhere. She made a lot of mistakes along the way. I mean, she she related with the wrong man in, a, in some instances. I mean, she had some relationships that they were very um, abusive relationships, uh, which cost her a lot and emotionally and financially, etc. And finally, she discovered that um, she was free. She was more. She was more free than other people who had families around holiday time, and me myself around like fifteen years ago, I would sneak to her house during uh, family holidays in order to feel free and liberated, not being around family, not being around judgmental parents, judgmental aunts, uncles, grandparents, siblings, etc. Why do I remember her? I remember her because I, I, well, I, 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 I tried in my broken English <laughs> to tell you the story of this friend of mine. It's because I, I was thinking about it, uh, that she's an example of, of a survivor who, try, who manages to go through holidays and through life without having a family. And alongside with her were other friends of us of ours that had living family. I mean, their parents were alive, their siblings were alive, but they did not have any real connection with them. So we decided or we, we formed um, a group of people that we were so socializing with each other and we were having time, a good time with each other, especially during holidays. I mean, we decided that we will spend our holidays together. Not only me and her, other, 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 and other friends as well. It's, it's such a cliche, but I will say it again, that uh, family is the friends you do not choose, and friends is the family you choose. When you do not have any family, you have the freedom to choose your own family, the total freedom. Because when you have a family and your family doesn't suit you, and you decide that you want to find another family, then you are real family. <laughs> your, your biological family gets upset. Why don't you come to our dinner party? Why didn't you come 
to visit us for the holidays. Why do why do you why do you hang around with other people and not your family? For those who of you that you live abroad, that you live by yourselves, for those of you that you are single, for those of you that you are in an age that maybe you haven't started your career yet or you finished your career or you haven't had a relationship yet or you lost a spouse, you lost a partner and you feel lonely. A way to survive holidays is to try and feel each day with something productive. For example, this mo- Christmas morning I'm going to visit children in the hospital or old people in old people's home. Uh, or I am going to take a trip, a trip to a destination where I will arrive and give a gift to somebody that I know that they really need love and attention. When you are alone in Christmas and you feel that you are like the, uh, the Christmas orphan, you know from the story, she was selling matches. Um, my opinion on how to get through this is to try and make other people who are in a, in a similar or worse condition than you happy. Try and find your tribe and hang with them. It's so such a liberating thing to be able to choose your family. I'm sure that some of you will comment on the comment sections below and especially in Greek because most it, it, so you, you all know that most of my viewers are Greek. Greek nationals. I'm sure that you will comment and say it's not easy to find friends nowadays. Uh, uh, friendship is so difficult. Uh, people are savage. You don't have friends so easily. Yes, the times are difficult, but they are not difficult than they were in the past. They are better. I believe in the better na- uh, angels of our nature. But with friendships, you have this thing that uh, makes it easier than with families. You choose them and you can dub them at any time and find others. So for all of you that you are spending uh, uh, these holidays and every holidays alone, watch last week's uh, video in English, the one that was released last Friday on the 20th of December. 2019, where I was talking about the struggles and how to survive Christmas with family. Feel uh, blessed that you don't have family around because most of the time family means trouble. And find your own tribe. Find your own family, the, the friends that you choose. And if it is so late for you now to find friends, another uh, um, helpful tip is to organize your day and your days off from work in a manner that you will not get bored. As I said uh, earlier, you can um, um, organize a daily outing. For example, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to go to the grocery shop, I'm going to buy this and that and that. Or at 4 in the afternoon, I'm going to visit that person that I know that she or he is alone as well and take a gift or I will watch this, um, this play, uh, or I will watch this series. Uh, Christmas holidays, it's a beautiful time for binge watching TV series. Um, so organize your day so that you have something to do every day. And when you have a program, uh, you feel content at the, end, at the end of the day when you fulfill it. Uh, for example, I'm filming this uh, video on uh, Sunday, the 22nd of December, because I have to prepare it earlier in order to be on time. And today's program for me, 22nd of December 2018, was to go to the farmer's market to cook and uh, make the vlogs and uh, uh, videotape three days vlogs. Now, I'm on my third uh, chore. I went to the farmer's market, I cooked, and now I do the videos. When I will finish the videos, I will feel fulfillment in my heart because I had a cause and I executed the cause. You can do this with your life every day. Have some steps for you. Organize your day so that you don't feel lost and empty. 
I send you all my love. Caesar's greetings. And Caesar's greetings. Um, I do not like Christmas very much. I don't like holidays in general. But we can do it and we can survive. We can survive. We have survived so many years so far. Let's make it um, a purpose on these holidays to survive without family and not feel that we go, that we have um, a problem that there is no family around us. Let's see it differently. We are free. Thank you so much. See you next Friday about the video with a video about New Year's resolutions, which I also hate. Bye. If you liked my video, please press the like button, share, subscribe to my channel, and all these things that YouTubers say. Bye.